So I just finished about a two mile run, and for some people that's not very long, but I don't know, two miles is long for me, it's, it's good. I'm proud of myself, but either way, I was thinking to myself, it's a Monday, and other people are at work right now, and even though I, I have work to do, I'm, I'm able to go here on a vacation. It got me thinking, I, I've gotten so used to working in technology, cybersecurity is where I've spent most of my, my career, and uh, you know, if it, if it was a couple, like 40 years ago, I, I don't even know if I'd be able to do all this because cybersecurity is one of those industries kind of just born from the internet. And if it wasn't for that, honestly, like I'd probably have to be in an office. I'd probably have to go make sure that I show up on time to some place. And I mean, even though if I have meetings or, or however have you, just make sure I get online on my phone or call in or something along those lines. But I, I don't have to go anywhere if I don't want to. And I, there are cybersecurity jobs that require people to go into offices and whatnot. And, you know, I used to go into a lab, but even even then, if I wanted to work remotely, well, half the time I'd be in another state anyways, or another country when I was doing cybersecurity consulting and some of these other projects that I used to do, project work and deployments and infrastructure de deployments and so on and so forth. But this is, this is one of the reasons why I like my career. So I was thinking about it since I've been making a lot of videos about cybersecurity jobs. I'm sure a lot of people wonder what's it like to be able to just go work from wherever you want. I mean, it's not as glamorous as it necessarily looks. Like I still have to, still have to get my projects done. I can't just not work. And if I go somewhere cool like Hawaii, which is where I am right now, you know, so even though I might be on the beach sometimes and stuff like that, or I might be able to go through pretty places like this, I still have to work. But at, at the end of the day, I, I do like not having to go into an office. And so that was one of those things I was thinking about since I've been helping people get jobs lately and, and even over the past couple of years. And, you know, other industries don't really let you do this, not, not the same way. So something I've just been thinking about. So for those of you who've been sitting there thinking like, oh, you know, how do people, someone asked me the other day, they're like, well, how do you get one of those remote jobs? And one of my neighbors even asked me, how, how do you work from home all the time? I hear you work from home. And half the time I'm not even home, but you know, I don't have to show up anywhere. And it's because of the, the, the career I chose. It, it gives me flexibility. And then on top of that, I have the income to do things like travel places. And you know, honestly, it, gave me the income to do what I needed to do to start a business. And uh, I've been running the business for about two years now, which is crazy to think about. Uh, two years overall, it's a long time ago. Well, but, you know, it, it gave me the income I needed to start my own thing. And then even so, like it, it gives me a, a professional skill that allows me to work online and it allows me to not have to have a whole lot of equipment. All I really need is a computer and the internet. And nowadays you can get the internet from your phone and work at an airport. I can work anywhere, any hotel or any place that allows me to work online. So since I've been talking about jobs and whatnot, you know, like what's it like to work remotely? That's something I haven't really talked a whole lot about. Uh, and even though I just talked a little bit about it just now, it's nice. I, 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 a lot of times I take it for granted. And, you know, like I said today, I've just been thinking about, I know a lot of people have to wake up on Monday morning, go to work, and I got to work sometime today, but I don't know, I worked two, three, four hours yesterday, and then I can work another three, four, five hours today. And sure, some days, like since I'm also a business owner, I do have weeks where I might work some crazy 80 hour a week to get some projects out. But once I'm done doing that, I can just turn on all the lights, wait for analytics to come in and stuff like that. And, you know, even now, once I get certain things going, I have to sit and wait anyways. So I'm not gonna just like sit and stare at a bunch of progress bars. That's, that's dumb. If you work in technology, you run into a lot of working in technology is staring at progress bars. And uh, even if you're not staring at project bars, I'm working with some machine learning right now, which is some stuff that I'm designing for my own business needs. I'm trying to automate my whole business. So doing that requires machine learning. And 
well, I come from building artificial intelligence and machine learning and things along those lines. And it's also nice because then I can automate half of my job, but most people don't even know how to do that. So most people can, might learn how to work online, but they don't know how to automate their job. And uh, cybersecurity, you learn how to do that stuff if you get into machine learning and AI and stuff along those lines. And someone sent a comment asking, should they work in artificial intelligence or cybersecurity? And it's a good question. Uh, because I've done both, but I, I worked with artificial intelligence and advanced intelligence in cybersecurity. And uh, well, this, is, this is good questions. Honestly, I think artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, and I'm an automation specialist, just even before cybersecurity, just automate tasks and things so that I don't, like, I'm not going to do things manually if I don't have to. It just doesn't make sense. Like, I'd rather just build some program of my own that does half of what I need and I, I'm sure I should probably sell something like that someday I don't know it's it's not fun enough for me to want to like try to sell my automation I, I'm not into that I'd rather just use it to automate my own work and then just do some work that I like to do but Regarding AI and cybersecurity, I, I, I think everyone in the modern day who gets into cybersecurity should be getting into artificial intelligence and automation and things along those lines because, like right now, I'm about to turn on a bunch of analytics tools and whatnot, and I have to sit and wait for about five, six, seven days for that to collect some metrics, and then once those metrics are collected, I can get back to work. But while I'm waiting for that to go, like I can. I can go do other things and I'm technically still working without working and I like that. I can go for some hikes, I can go on the beach more and uh, even though I worked yesterday and today I'm probably not going to work a whole lot this week because I, I, like I said I have to wait for those analytics to come in but I, I did work some crazy hours over the past two weeks but you put in the hard work up front and then once that hard work is done well, you get a lot more flexibility and freedom so it's it's kind of like working crazy hours for about, you know, a year, maybe six months, depending on what you're trying to do. And then once everything's automated, then it's not really a big deal. You don't have to work nearly as much. Even when I used to work in the lab, I would set up a lot of projects and I have to wait for some progress bars. Like I said, I'm not going to stare at some progress bars, so I'm going to leave. I'm not going to stay at work. And if I'm working from home, I'm just going to go do something fun. So those are some things. And, you know... I've been having more people asking, like, what do I do on my own time? I don't really like sharing my personal life with people. It's not, uh, it's not exciting to me, but now I've been, now I'm running a business. I need to start talking to people more and not be so antisocial. So I'm, I'm kind of figuring YouTube is probably my gateway to doing that and Facebook videos, things like that. Because honestly, I'd rather just be outside and go do stuff like this and I like to go for runs, go for hikes, go... I, I, I watch shows every now and then, and I like to play a few games, but yeah, it's, it's nice having flexibility. I like to travel, I like to run around, and I, I like a career that allows me to travel, because I, honestly, I like to work in random places. Over the past year, well, even over the past couple of months, I've worked, over the past year, let's see, how many places have I worked? I, I worked in the mountains in some place, in Vail, and then I worked in California for a while, and and I was working out of um, Austin, Texas, and now I'm out here in one island in Hawaii and in Kona. Now we're now we're we're gonna go to Kauai soon after this. And uh, I like being able to just run around and do whatever I want and still be able to work and not have to figure out where this is the money gonna come from. And uh, sure, I have to manage when I start to run out of money. I gotta do things to keep making more money. <laughs> But it's a, it's a nice, it's nice flexibility and having the skill sets to be able to make your own income is nice. And even working in cybersecurity, even if you decide you want to quit someday and be your own consultant, it's, it's so high in demand that you don't have to be dependent on just staying at an employer. Anyone who gets really good in cybersecurity just ends up in such high demand that you can just go do your own thing and people pay you for it because they need what you do. And obviously they'll pay a, a business or someone you contract with. What is that? Is that I don't know there's something in the tall grass who cares but <laughs> but either way it's uh it's good I'm gonna wrap this video up because it's hot out here and I'm 
starting to sweat more than I already was after a long run and it's hot. All right. Peace.